Now, from Studio 41 on the Country Club Plaza, this is Kansas City Live. Hey everybody, good morning. Thanks for joining us for Kansas City Live this Thursday morning. I'm Michael Mackey. And I'm Michelle Davidson. Hopefully you're starting your Labor Day off early. The celebrations officially, I guess, don't kick off until Friday afternoon after work. But maybe you took tomorrow off and a day off. Make it a five-day weekend, six-day weekend. My day is going to start tomorrow <laughs> at approximately 11 a.m. after the show's <laughs> over. Okay. And you're just running out of the station. <laughs> Running. Okay. Running. All right. Well, it's happening again, but this time the momentum is growing. Okay. Today, fast food workers around the country will go on strike as part of their fight for a living wage. Here in Kansas City, workers are already out on the streets. This is video from Sky Tracker earlier this morning. These employees are fighting for a minimum wage increase to $15 an hour, plus the ability to form a union. According, according to MIT, a living wage in Kansas City for one parent and one child is $17 per hour. All right, this is the second time Kansas City workers have participated in a nationwide walkout. Back in late July, employees at several restaurants on the Missouri side participated in the strike as well. The number of cities participating in the walkouts today has doubled or even tripled since the last strike in July, so they're gaining some momentum. Yep, yep. The current um, federal minimum wage is $7.25 an hour, which works out to about $15 thousand dollars a year so we'll see if it makes an impact getting out there and, and and voicing their opinion that the wages are way too low there's a lot of people out there today mm -hmm. so with a lot of picket signs so we'll see well we love having mommy bloggers on the show yes, we do. and uh, a new blog caught my attention it's titled the mom phrase I really can't stand okay usually it comes from a mom or a grandma who has older kids the phrase just wait until mm. after you say something. You're whining, usually venting, complaining. You need your support from your girlfriend. Just wait until. Okay, well, <laughs> Yahoo uh, Shine blogger Aaron Ruddy says you generally hear more seasoned moms saying this to newer moms. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're complaining that you're uncomfortable while pregnant, well, just wait until you're nine months. Or if you're commenting <laughs> on the volume and skill level required for a your kindergartner's homework will just wait until he's in the fourth grade. Okay, Ooh. here's another big one. If you vent about your two children making your house feel like a madhouse and someone says, oh, just wait until you have three or four or five, then it's just like, oh, they don't even have the energy to even say just wait until. Okay, now I know I've been guilty of saying it. I've no. said it before. Like if someone was pregnant, I was like, oh, just wait. And, and then now I think about it. And I'm like, that's not, that's not always the best thing to say. Did your mom, did, your mom did Betty say that to you? No, no, she's pretty, she's pretty good. She's pretty supportive. I think so. I think, you know, moms out there uh, might be bothered by that phrase when you think about it. And now, yes. now, now you're like, hmm, I shouldn't say that ever <laughs> again. We've got to be supportive of all the moms out there. No mom petition. Mm -hmm. Not a competition, a mom it's petition. No, yeah, no competition, what she said. All right. Well, they aren't holidays that ha Hallmark would typically celebrate, so let's see what weird national holidays are happening today. On Thursday, August 29th, it's More Herbs, Less Salt Day. I am guilty of putting salt on everything. I would put salt on an aspirin if I could. So I like my sodium. And you love salt on your rim of your margarita? That I do not. <laughs> oh, you don't? I am a, I'm a purist when it comes to my margaritas. We'll be talking about Otherwise, that later. Otherwise, cover everything in salt. Exactly. Well, past the chopsticks is National Chop Suey Day. Okay, translated chop suey means mixed bits. Mixed bits. Mixed bits, yeah. We usually see stir-fried vegetables, meat and eggs served over rice and noodles. Lots of mixed bits in there. Okay, National Chop Suey Day. And it's <laughs> National Whiskey Sour Day, and when we thought about who to invite to make us the perfect whiskey sour, it did Come not take in. long. We'd like to welcome Paige Unger onto our show. Paige was just named. Thank you so much. Paris of the Plains, best bartender. <laughs> okay, first of all, cheers. Congratulations. Yes. Cheers. That is an Thank awesome you. honor. Thank yes, you. what an honor. You are racking up bartending titles right and left. What is that mm. like for you? Uh, well, now I have to figure out some new goals because I accomplished my two goals that I had in one year, which is crazy so now I just I guess look forward to something bigger which I don't know what that would be <laughs> you're gonna travel around the world taking right? over as the best just bartender one global. Time. Yeah. I love it. instead of national go for global yes <laughs> okay so this is really good what goes into a great whiskey sour well a great whiskey sour is gonna be equal parts simple syrup and lemon juice mm -hmm. and then you do um, you do a double on the whiskey traditionally it is served with egg whites but you know, typically most people when they think of a whiskey sour don't put egg whites in it. So this one is sans egg whites. Sans egg whites. I think that's okay. a good elimination. I don't know if I want egg white in my <laughs> whiskey sour. 
I change, yeah, it makes people a little queasy sometimes. Well, you're going to be throwing down some ice, ice baby. You're going to be throwing mm -hmm. out some drinks later, so that'll be fun. So we'll see you in a little bit, dear. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us, and congratulations. Cheers, Cheers dear. Yes, National Whiskey Sour She's Day. She's taking over the Yummy. world with her bartending skills. Yes, she no is. Doubt. All right. Well, it's game day at Arrowhead Stadium tonight. For the last preseason game, the Chiefs will take on the Green Bay Packers at 7 o'clock tonight. If you're heading out to the game, well, we have a few reminders for you. For instance, the NFL's new safety policy only allows clear plastic bags in the stadium. Now, you can purchase approved clear bags from the Chiefs or just bring your items into the game in a one-gallon clear plastic Ziploc bag. Small clutch bags about the size of a hand are still allowed. Also, because of today's heat, we want to remind you that you can bring in your own bottled water nice. into the stadium. That's great. Now, the bottles must be... 20 ounces or less, and they must still be sealed. Don't try to sneak in some other clear liquid in your water bottle, because you will be busted. Busted! <laughs> All right, well, after Sunday's VMA performances, the phrase twerk. Twerk. Twerk, yeah, it's been used a lot this week. John Anthony just showed us what twerking looks like. Our floor director <laughs> just twerked right in front of us. My <laughs> eyes. All right, well, now twerk is officially a word, thanks to the Oxford English Dictionary. As part of the quarterly updated... Dictionary, twerk was officially added to the dictionary. Yes, twerk, you better twerk. Okay, in case you're curious, here's the official definition. To dance to popular music in a sexually provocative manner involving thrusting hip movements and a low squatting stance. I'm literally watching John Anthony. Where's the camera on John Anthony when there, we need it to be? John Anthony is twerk. right in front of us, and he is twerking <laughs> it right now. You better twerk, He's John Anthony. He's way better than Miley. I, I'm less offended when I watch him twerk. Oh! <laughs> oh, good lord. Dictionary editors say the word has been around for about 20 years and it apparently started as a variation of work, obviously. Also added in this dictionary, uh, faux hawk, phablet, and selfie when you take a picture of yourself. And a phablet is like a tablet phone functioning smaller, a smaller a, a phone. Phablet, phablet, yes. All right. Okay, whether you're online, at school, or even at work, there could be a bully trying to bring you down. Yeah. We'll teach you how to keep your cool and deal with bullies at any age. And let's spend smart in September. Our Kansas City Mama is back with some creative ways to save money this month after we dropped a lot of cash on back to school. But coming up next, it's a little happy hour conversation. In the middle of the afternoon, I got a chance to sit down with the ladies of The Perk. Each week, three Kansas City ladies come together for a one-hour talk show radio. Yeah, they talk about everything, yes. anything, and their show is truly connecting with audiences for an early happy hour once a week. 
Good afternoon and welcome to The Perk. Happy hour with the girls, real women, real topics. Thanks for tuning in to ESPN 1510. We will find The Perk Girls every Thursday at 3 o'clock. This trio of talented ladies has been friends for years. Val, Kelly, and Mindy bring a girls' night out, happy hour vibe to the airwaves. We talked about sex. We talked about films. We talked about um, marriage parenting. It's kind of the whole gamut that everything girls go out at happy hour and talk about, we try to encompass everything. It's a radio show designed for women and what we talk about. We really just try to speak our mind. But don't be confused by the fact that it airs on a sports radio channel. We are on ESPN 1510 and the way that we fit in is that they say the place smells good when we show up. That's, a, that's about it. I was lucky enough to join these lovely ladies on the show one afternoon. You know, getting the kids out the door, that's the biggest battle to it get is. to the show. And then once I'm there, it's just pure fun. They immediately made me feel welcome as a guest host. They talked with an open candor. I don't wear men's underwear. With the honesty you share with a girlfriend. That's like the worst hangover ever. And they each bring something different to the conversation. Yeah, that is so true. And there was lots and lots of genuine laughter. <laughs> Their kids, friends, and husbands are so supportive of the show, but it's still live radio and stuff can slip out. My husband, he's a really conservative guy, so I think things I say sometimes he just cringes. <laughs> And husbands are certainly not the only loyal male listeners. Their more masculine audience has grown. It's not just about female talk topics. Do we start the show for females? Yes, that's what we, but we talk about everything. So I think it's a good avenue for lots of listeners and we hope people tune in. And you can make some new friends on The Perk by tuning in. I know I did. Well, thank you so much. And we're going to be back after this with more of The Perk.